Hello everyone, I'm Alex from Modex 3D support team. Uh, today, uh, I'm very happy to introduce you one of the most useful and powerful function in Studio since release 17. It's called the roundness measurement. So, when we are talking about the roundness, for example, if there's a part with a circular fe feature which we want to measure, after deformation, the circular feature will no longer ex exist. So, when we uh, want to measure this deformed shape, so in this PowerPoint, as you can see, here this is the original circular shape. So, once we get the deformed shape, we will use the mathematical way to find the maxima radius and also the minima radius as here. So the definition of the roundness is the deviation value between the maxima radius and the minima radius. So let's take a, a quicker view about the, how the, we demo this function. So this is uh, the demo project which I want to show you. It's a bedding project. So first, I will go to the total displacement result here and click on the roundness. And next, you just need to quick click on the specific edge which you want to observe. As you can see here, click save. Then you will get the roundness result. More than this, you can hide, show and hide this value by using the model tree. And with the right click, you can also output the result into Excel. In the Excel file, here as you can see, we have the original coordination of the original feature, and also the default model of the each coordination from X to Y. So this distance result shows that uh, the original radius. And for the, this term, this, for the deformed shape, first we get the fitting circle. Because as, as I mentioned, once the part has been deformed, the original circle shape will no longer exist. It. So which means we need to find a fitting circle. So once we find the fitting circle, we will have the new center of the ray of the circle. Then we can calculate the, dis the deformed distance. And after that, we can get the minima circle of the radius and also the maxima circle of the radius. As you can see, we also provide two different charts which you can compare with the original circle and the deformed circle. And also the radar plot for showing more detail about how is the difference between the maximum radius between the minimal radius. Okay, so this is my uh, introduction to the day. So thanks for your time to watch this video. So if you have any question about this video, please leave a message as below, or you can also send an email to the support in EU at modex3d.com. Thanks. <laughs>